All right, first thing I'm gonna do is tape off the screen. I'm gonna go in here, do the, do the shirt side first, and then I'm gonna do the ink side. And I'm using this fragile tape because it comes off super easy. Like you don't have to do. If I'm doing a whole bunch. I mean, we're talking like hundreds of shirts. I will use a different type of tape, but since it's just going to be I think maybe five, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's flip it over. Some people don't do this on the inside. I started doing that, but I don't like the stain on the screen. So I'm now taping off as well. The key with this fragile tape is once you're done with printing, you need to remove it because it will start adhering to the thing. This print is going to be one color, so I just have one screen to register. Find my plant. So this is the image. So that, that's about right where I want it there. All right. One thing I will do is I highly recommend you guys pick up one of these for the angles. That way you know everything is straight. See that pisses off a little bit. I will now tape it down on the button. The like it. All right, so let's line this up. If you're gonna buy a press, I recommend that you get the micro registry because the other ones that don't have that are kind of a really pain to try to, when you're trying, especially if you have multiple screens, it's hard to register sometimes. You have to get, you when you're burning it, you have to have it just exactly right in the thing. It doesn't matter when you're having like one or one screen or so. When you start getting multiple, you're gonna want accuracy and the micro registry is the one that does it for you. I just finished registering the, the image. You got everything straight. I use micro registration. That's the best way to go. So if you purchase a press and you're wanting, wanting to Winola, one of the first things you need to look at when you buy a press is if it has micro registration. It will make your life a lot easier, especially if you have multiple screens, more than one screen. It, it helps you lock it in and go there. Now, I wish I would have got the joystick. They, they do have a joystick registration thing, but it's in a it's a bigger press. I wish I would have went with it because it would make things a lot easier. But anyways, here we go. We're at nine and two. So nine. Write this right here. Nine and two. 
check to see what, what the temperature is here. And we're good. We're at 663. So let's go ahead without further ado. I'll swing this swing this around. I want to go here. So let's do a test print. Always make sure you take off your registration after you get done with your test print because you'll mess up a blank if you don't. Speaking from experience. So this way, if you have any pinholes, you will see them and take them off. Alright. Good enough. Let's go ahead and get these printed. These are the shirts. We're, this is, like I said, this is the this is the Texas orange. And that's what we'll be printing on. They're Gildan 5000 heavy cotton. I always like to hit the shirt first under the dryer. That way it brings all the moisture out. Seems I seem to be able to get a better print when I do that. Good, nice crisp, crisp edges, bright white. Okay, now I'm just gonna, since I only have a few of these, I'm not gonna hook up the the uh, conveyor dryer. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how to dry a shirt using just your flash dryer. So my setup, I'll do this for one minute, and it'll be cured. If you look, if you look here, three twenty seven.
Okay, time up, time's up. Now, that's what it is. Okay, perfectly cured.